So welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to set up your Gray account as well, how to add it to your, uh, if you're into KDP, I'll be showing you how to add it to your KDP. If you're not into KDP, I'll show you stuffs like this and you can get your foreign account and how you can fill it into your stuff and what and what you should do. In one of my tutorials, I talked about uh, the difference between GeekPay and uh, Gray.co. I talked about Payoneer, so you can scroll to the end of this video and just watch it so that you don't make mistake when it comes to opening of account whether you, sh you should use gray or you should use payoneer or you should use a uh, uh, geekpay.africa but anyway so now let's start first of all you should come to the side not minding i believe they should have their website or instead let me say they should have it on play store so this is for android so i'm going to just go to play store and see if this is on play store we're going to search for that immediately so let's search for that and uh, move on to the next stuff. So over here, we're going to search in Play Store. If there's some stuff like this, let's see. Um, there's no way we can find it. So what I'll do now is come to the search here. Then I should come here and search for Geek uh, Gray. I'm going to put in gray, dot, uh, gray and uh, gray.co app. Okay. Uh, I assume it's better we'll do it this way. Gray.co app. Uh, let's wait for this. Okay, you see we have it on Play Store. It means you can use it on your Android phone. On Apple Store, I don't know, it should be on Apple Store as well. But let's just move on. So first of all, you should start with this option which say get started for free. Yes, get started for free. And so I, I don't know how it's going to be on um, your phone, but I believe it should be a small size like this. Yes, should be a size like this. We should click on this stuff then you should have a um, scroll down to the end of it. Then you should have um, something like log in or get started. So if I click on login, there should be a tab for me to move on to the next step, which is either logging in or some stuff. So this is all because of network, but we're not uh, logging in. All we are doing is to uh, put in our stuff. So in case you're in this place, all you do is you will just click on create an account. So we're going to create an account. Since we are creating an account, the first thing that we ask you is your first name. Your first name is the name you answer. So I'm going to just start with Austin. Then I'll move on to the middle name optional. So it's advisable you see this place called optional. But you can decide to move on and say Chooks, depending then your last name, your son name. Yes, yeah, so you can put in any stuff there. Then at your mobile stuff, you can put in anyone and say 912767 Then you can just fill in your stuff there. Then you go straight to your email address. You can just write any stuff and uh, let's just see what I can use for my email address. I believe all this should not be signed up with gray. So the next thing we want to do now is to put in our password. So you can, I can put in any random password there and I move on to the next phase. So he said, we must at least have a special character and uppercase and some stuff so when you get con when you get to this place let me tell you what that really means so it means for example you want to put in your password it means you have something like an uppercase like this hey then you have a smaller case like this then you have a number in your password and you have some sign either this or any of this one should be among so that is what it means when you say some uppercase and some other stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just mix it and just put in some other stuffs and mix them together. Then we are good to go. So I'm good. You see now I've added them and we have a number. We have stuff. We have all these together. Like as I've showed you here in this place. So now ensure you put is up to eight characters. Then uppercase at least one uppercase. Uh, then lowercase at least one. Then a special character either star, ash any symbol then a number added then referral code if you uh, feel like making a registration through i'm not putting any link just move on to the website and move on so there is no referral code for this so the next thing here is to agree with the terms and condition so we're going to agree with your terms and condition or you can take time and read through everything in this place is very very important very very important so now the next one to do is to just create account and see if this uh, I've used this mail before conflict user with this already exist so it seems I've, I've already used this before so I'm going to try to make changes to this one and um, see if all right so this are simple errors I forgot to say something check for your country code when doing this so I'm going to move on to create account then let's see if we move on to the next phase beautiful so the next thing I want to do is to verify 
my uh my email address yes so i'm going to open my mail in my phone and just go through it and verify immediately or better still use the uh, code so on time one time password has been sent so i'm going to check that has been sent to my phone i'm going to check my gmail immediately and see if it is there so over to my gmail in no time soon i should be back with you so uh now i just got the mail immediately welcome to gray and stuff you should receive the mail as well so welcome to gray i have my number here i'm going to put it in there immediately and i am good so almost there almost there sorry for this uh, little delay so all right so go to gray gray has not sent me the on time password so let me check very well all right i've gotten it so uh what advice just check the message that say confirm your identity so just move on there and just type in the password so i was given 218332 then i'm going to verify immediately and just wait in no time we should be verified then we move to the next phase of this so now i uh, finally have my email verified successfully so we're going to move on and just uh, go straight to the next point in it so we're going to come to this place and select your gender and say mail then uh, enter a clear occupation if you're a teacher if you're a freelancer so i'm going to say i'm a freelancer which is very good you just write that or you want to put youtuber you can put any stuff but just fit freelance in there freelancer sorry so your country i'll just put nigeria because that's where i'm doing it then the state i'm going to pick any state here and just put enugu there then i'm going to pick the city i'm going to put that same enugu then add a zip code if you don't have a zip code you can come there and put your uh, state and say enugu zip code you got a lot of ones will be given to you. All you have to do is to just pick any of these one four zero zero one zero two and you proceed to the next thing. So four zero zero one zero two. So that is what we have in over there. Then we have our home address. You can just get out there and put the same stuff, but you can change it. What I advice is when filling this, just fill anything stuff, then later you can change them. As you move on so we move our date of bed you can pick any random number but ensure you are up to 18 so i'm going to come here and just pick one of these and say uh ensure that if you are using uh let me advise you here use the uh the date of bed in your voters card or your national id or any stuff but if you don't have ensure you just use any of them that you think is good so i'm going to pick one of this random number here and i'm good to go i'm going to pick uh second year then i'll move on to the next phase i say upload a recent utility b pdf and you're good so now the next thing we want to do now is to upload a utility bill so you don't want utility bill let me sign utility bill so we're going to write utility bill in nigeria and so that we will see what it really means so uh let's just find an image uh look for one of these image there so this is what we call utility bill so you can pick one of these and you move on to the next phase and you verify so now what i'll do now is to just uh let me just uh, move on i'm going to move on to the with this and see if i'm good to go so i'm going to find this i'm going to sit, download this it's not advisable but because of tutorial purpose that's what i'm really doing so i'm going to come here now so find a utility bill of your choice uh either from your friend uh, but that is not older than three months then you can use it so i have that any you know, good uh, stuff like that then i'll move on to this and i'll come to this place and upload one they say in pdf png i'll check my download which is this then i'm going to wait for this download dot stuff then i'll move on maximum size is 3 mb please provide a utility bill from the past three months so what do you use great for i'm going to move on to this place and say receive my salary or orders better still I'll say receive payment from freelancing so i prefer you use this one instead so we're going to hit on continue then uh if you feel like saving if you're doing for me on your browser now we're going to move to the last step of this which require you to upload a live copy of your government you should id you should id this may be this one here we have international passport national id or driving license so yeah you don't know what is national id those guys in nigeria this should pertain to you uh national id because i pick nigeria so any country you are doing it doing uh for uh from advice you use what is provided here anything they ask you and sure you give them and you are good to go so i will not be doing this here because i already have a great account what i'll do is to just log into my great account and tell you how the dashboard looks like when you finally 
get verified. Trust me, you're going to wait for some time and you'll be verified and you'll be giving your account number just like this. So now I'm going to log into my Gray account now and show you the dashboard so that you have an overview of it. And above all, you can decide to continue later if you don't have all this thing ready. You can continue later. Let's just see the, the dashboard and see if there's anything um, better be by just this demo uh, account because this is a demo account. I really don't use it. So now here we have the stuff like this. So when you see the first step as account has been created, uh, identity, identity verification is still ongoing, then document verification as well. So right here now I have my dollar account in this place, but I've not generated anyone. I've not generated anyone. So I'm going to generate one, but I don't think so. Uh, let's just come to this place, the home section. Let's move down again. We have the British, so it supports United States dollars, it support British, support euro. All these are all zeros. And at this place, we have CR rate. So currently, the exchange rate in terms of KES, I don't know for that of KES, but I guess it should be in this place. So uh, we have uh, for Nigeria, it is uh, 1079 in British. Then for that of USD is 858 Naira and that's a very good exchange rate and their charge is not expensive. Uh, in case you want to know their charge, please at the end of this video, I've made differences between Gray, Payoneer, talked about GigPay, talked about Payday and their differences. So you can watch that and master it immediately. So now we'll move on to the next place. Balance, I don't have anything here. So your balance should be empty. So look at what they said, service downtime. Payouts are currently unavailable due to downtime. Uh, downtime. We are working on it. So let's see the account and report and see. So you either. So when you finally get your account, what you are going to do is to request for NGN account. Request for this account. Request for this. So when you request for it in a space of 24 hours within two to three days, you should be given your account very fast so now i'm going to show you how the account looks like and other stores you can go for visual card if you want to make some payment online or you want to request for visual card you can do that to pay teams online buy other stores online so let me log in immediately to my own right now all right so i'm fully back to my um account that has been verified and all stuff and if you scroll down here if i come to account and report definitely i should have my account so i've been given this account called this is my account number here this is the older name i advise you use legitimate uh details if you want to use your mom's details you want to use your dad details ensure the names matches because so that when it comes to payment you don't get issues so you see this name is my full name on all stores then we have the bank name, Sterling Banks was given to me. I can decide to copy these details. Now you can see. So it's advisable you read as well. It's advisable you read as well. So this account can only receive funds in NGN. Payment will take minimum a few minutes to reflect. There is no additional fees on deposit. So when you're depositing, uh, depositing from your account to this place, there is nothing that they will charge you no penny will be deducted then i have my euro bank account as well i have that off um i have this one here i have uh my account number i have my iban you can go here and say what's the meaning of iban it's good we educated what is the meaning okay let's just search for that meaning of i iban in account okay we have someone that's queried that so let's see what it means the brand code identify the specific bank branch holding the account. You recognize the number in the first days. The account number itself is contained in the end of the IBAN. So uh, anyway, let's move on to what we're saying. So I have this one, my IBAN. At the end, as you have said, we have 3567, which is 3567 attached to it. Let me just say this is my special tracking code, if I should use that word. So the bank name is called Claire Junction Limited and I have my sort code. So the back address is here and stuff like this. Then I have my third one that I've requested for, which is my British Pants account, my Pants account. Here is my Euro account and we moved to the next place. So over this place, I've tried to ask for my uh, dollar account. It has not been given to me. So over this place, I have two accounts. I have that of Wema, I have that of Sterling Bank. So I believe you should be able to ask for 
this. So now you have this generated. For example, yours has been given. The next thing you want to do is to fill these details right up in your, uh, you want to fill it right up inside your KDP for those into KDP because I'm into full time KDP. I've just tried to play some stuff and not quite long. You see, I'll be generating some stuff, all this, but not much, but at least it's worth giving you time. So if I come straight to this place, I want to go back to my account and do my payment method over this place. I can move on and add to my account and just change the payment method. So uh, they, use, they charge a minimum of $0.2. It's not as expensive. It's cool. So you can use Cray and move on. But if you want a clearer understanding about these uh, outgrade works and stuff, what the best advice, you scroll to the end of the video immediately and there should be a comparison video about all this. So watch. So the next video I'll be talking about how to make, open your GigPay account. Same process, but it's your choice and why you really want to use that. All right, guys, thank you for watching and thank you for taking your time. And one thing I'll beg you, don't forget to subscribe or don't forget to chat me up if you're having a problem. I'll answer you immediately. You chat me up. Trust me when I say this. So turn on the notification bell so that you get notified as well when I'm done with another video. Thank you for your watching. Uh, thank you for watching and thank you for your time as well. All right, bye.